As I'm sure a lot of you are aware already, new case in CSGO, the recall case. Now I must admit, I saw this case last night at around 2 a.m. And of course, I could not resist purchasing one. Let's check out some of the skins. Firstly, we got the Famas Meow 36. Pretty basic, I kind of like the cat face up the top. Then we got the Galil AR Destroyer. Pretty cool, I like the lines on it. Once again, a little basic. I don't know what the QR code right here leads to. Someone in the comments let me know. Then we got the M4A4 Polymag. I feel like this one looks also a little basic, looks a bit like the M4A4 Tornado. Moving on to the MAC-10 Monkey Flange. <laughs> this one's awesome. I feel like the green base could have been a lot better, but hey, they've kept it like a lower tier, so that's fine. Then we got the Negev Drop Me. <laughs> it's got like the stop sign on it, but it's got the DR instead of the ST. Very nice touch. And then we've got a little number up the handle of the gun. I don't know what that's about, so if you guys know, let me know down below in the comments. Moving on to the Ump 45 Roadblock. I really like this one. Depending on the angle that you look at it like the chevrons is that what they're called the little arrows they change i like that a lot i wonder what that looks like in game the glock 18 winterized the elite crew on it 1903 nine millimeter i like this one as well this wouldn't be too bad to use as your main glock i think that's pretty stylish the r8 crazy eight with a massive eight on it who likes the r8 I don't think anyone cares too much about the RA. M249 Downtown. This one is wild. Reminds me of some graffitis on some maps like Overpass. Really cool color theme with the blue and pink. Moving on to the Dragon Tech. It's got to be one of the best SGs in the game, right? Top five. This is awesome. It's got like the Asian design on it. Really, really sleek. I like this one a lot. The P90 Vent Rush. This one's really cool. This one's really cool. I see this pattern on the back of it and I'm thinking, are there going to be variations of the back pattern? Is there going to be like a boob pattern for this P90, which is like special and exclusive? I don't know. We'll see. It's exciting. But apart from the back pattern, the whole thing looks really, really nice. It's got like a whole hazard fire theme going on. The Jewel Beretta's Flora Carnivora. They made the title rhyming and the skin does not disappoint. These are awesome. Once again, in a graffiti style. I don't know if the eight is kind of like intentional or not, or whether that's just the design, but I'm a big fan of that one. Moving on to the AK-47 Ice Cold. Pretty cool. I get it. Ice Cold. However, don't know whether it should be the quality that it is. The whole like tech theme, I enjoy it. It's a bit print streamy. Moving on to the P250 Visions. I love this one. It's got a really, really cool artwork of the woman on the handle. And then moving on, it's got that little bird. It's got loads of like a little gecko. It's got loads of really cool hidden stuff on it. I like this one a lot. Then the Kiss Love, Sawn Off Shotgun. All the weebs, they're going to be all over this. Very anime inspired. I really like it. It's got the CSGO right here with the petals. And then if we flip around to the other side of the shotgun, we have the Kiss Love, and then we have a different graphic of, uh, I presume that's something in someone's mouth. You've got the eyes on one side, and then you've got the mouth on the other side. The Print Stream USPS. We know the Print Stream very well. It looks great on a lot of weapons. I figure... Just like uh, the other print stream weapons, when you actually look at this one in-game, it's going to look like a lot cooler than just the Inspect. And then we have the Orp Chromatic Aberration. I don't know whether I like this. This looks a hell of a lot like the Fever Dream, um, which is a lot of a lower class than this one. This is like the highest class you can get. So, Chromatic Aberration or don't know if I'm a big fan. Of course, last night I had to open just the one recoil case because they were very, very expensive. And I ended up getting da -da -da, <laughs> the Famas Meow 36, not too exciting. But holding myself back and not opening a lot of them as soon as they got released is definitely paying off because they were like £11 last night when they were released and now they're like 6 which means we can open a lot more in this video. I put my buy order in for 50 of these bad boys. Let's get one open. Let's hope for the Chromatic Aberration, even though it's not my favorite skin. I figure they will be selling for quite a lot of money right now. The MAC-10 Monkey Flange. I didn't really cover the gloves in these things, so I don't think we have any new gloves. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I looked at these last night and all of these had uh, prices already and they already are found in three cases. So no new glove designs. However, it's really nice to get a case with some gloves because in my opinion, there aren't enough cases with gloves as the rare special item. And if you pull the gloves, then it's normally way better on average than pulling a knife because as you can see, the starting prices are a lot more expensive 
expensive than something like a gut knife. So fingers crossed for the gloves. Let's go. Second recoil case. Uh, we're going to see more blue. Ooh, nah, another blue and that looks a little battle scar. Is it me or is the case animation slightly different on this? The way it like <laughs> pops up like that and then just stays up? There's something about that to me that says that's a strange case animation. <laughs> it's definitely weird. It's it, I'm not tripping. That is a weird case animation. I don't know what's going on with it. We get the fake tornado, the polymag. Can you guys see what I mean about the fake tornado? Like it's pretty much the same, but just different colors. I'm excited to finally be opening some of these new cases. The case animation is still freaking me out. Let's get oh, another fake tornado. I wonder if all the cases from now here on out will have the exactly the same animation. I think I'd like to get a print stream. Oh no, those graffiti tulies are really cool. We got a stat track negative drop me. So far, absolutely nothing but blues. And the blue rain continues with the Meow 36. I presume the ice cold is going to be pretty expensive. I think that the USPS print stream might actually be more popular than the Orp Chromatic Aberration. Uh, oh, -ho! let's go. And it's Stat Track, AK-47 Ice Cold. Very nice. I did say I wasn't a massive fan of this design. Oh, I think it's in Minware. It is. That's really, really sick. That's a nice drop to get. Let's see how much it's selling for. Oof, oof. The sales of this one recently have been through the roof. And this is the number eight <laughs> so far. Stat Track Minware Ice Cold. And I hate to do it, but... I'm gonna do the sensible thing. I'm gonna instant sell it for 150. It's gone. It's gone already. But it means I have half the money back from these cases already, and we haven't even opened half the cases. Some of you may be sad at me for what I just did, but considering uh, the prices of these skins on release are like absolutely sky high. Ooh, oh God, the double bait. It is the absolute smartest thing to do to instant sell, because if I wait a week, I'll be able to buy the exact same Stat Track AK back at probably like 20% of the price. So I don't lose anything, really. I just stand to gain. Let's get some more of those Statric AKs. Fingers crossed the rest of the opening isn't just pure blues. I am happy with the AK so far, but if we get a chromatic aberration on that, nice. USBS print stream incoming. I feel it. Ah, I, I lied. I'm gonna have a quick check what is more expensive. I knew it. I knew it. The USB-S print stream looks like it's gonna be a lot more expensive than the chromatic aberration. That's a bit of a mouthful to say. The print stream skins tend to be very, very popular, and I'm imagining when we look at that USPS in game, it's gonna be absolute fire. It's no surprise to me that the chromatic aberration is a little less expensive just because I am not a massive fan of the skin. I don't necessarily think it should be in the tier that it is in. I think the print stream deserves to be up there because that's always a winner. However, it seems it's not just me who has a slight disdain for that kind of like cheap fever dream looking skin. The whole community seemed to prefer the USPS. Still not even halfway through the opening, so I have high hopes. We just need to stop getting those uh, Mac 10s covered in monkey. All right, the P90 Vent Rush. Is it the same pattern? Maybe it's exactly the same pattern on all of them. I think I might have been a little bit wrong. It's not like the 5.7 cami. There's something about the P90 Vent Rush that reminds me a lot of Quake. Oh, we got Fake Tornado again. It looks like Battle Scarred. And I've always been a fan of that kind of industrial, grungy, Quake style. A lot of blues. Ideally, we want that print stream. We want it in Stat Track and we want it in Fact New. Those are some cool jewelries, though. I can't complain of these. The Flora Carnivora. And then another Mac 10 covered in monkeys. Wouldn't be complaining at some factory new gloves right about now. Missing the monkey plan. Gonna get the Destroyer and Fake Tornado. The blues are not really that. Ooh, oh no, the bait. The bait. Mmm, another SG. Not sure we'll have enough skins to do massive trade-ups. Actually, if I do trade-ups in this video, they're going to get demonetized, so can't even do trade-ups. Little shake on the box for good luck. Oh, no. We'll try that again with the shaky shaky because uh, it does work. It does. I think the shaky shaky might, in fact, be cursed. I think every time we do it, we just get a tornado. Fake tornado. Oh, the RA. A skin that absolutely nobody wants because nobody uses this weapon. I'm still a little confused as to why it's in oh, our beautiful game of Counter Strike. We need more pinks up in here. Too many blues. Show me the print stream. 
Gaben, if you can hear me, show me the proof. Mm-hmm, another SG, not in the best condition. I think this is a relatively big opening for a case that has just been released. Nice. The M249 Downtown, and that looks in pretty nice condition as well. Is it me, or has the lock always, like, stayed with the... Oh, like, oh fake tornado. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but does the, has the lock always stayed on the ground and then rotated with the case like that? I feel like that's new as well. Final 10 recoil cases. We had a pretty sick pull with the AK in Stat Track. Normally when we open the newer cases, it's just absolutely garbage luck. But today, I definitely can't complain, considering I got a weapon that was worth worth half the price of the cases already. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, that price will drop significantly. Because it's, it wasn't even in the high- Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Oh my goodness, the sports glove knocks. They're not in factory new for sure. But we got a pair of gloves straight off the bat. What more could we possibly hope for? That is amazing. I think they might be in field- Yeah, they're in field tested. Let's see how much they're selling for. Oof. With these gloves, and that AK, I have made profit. I have already made profit on this opening. That is absolutely unheard of, considering my luck and then a new release of cases. That's, it's happy days. Happy, happy days. You can give me all the Mac 10 monkey flanges you want now. Coming in absolutely clutch with the pair of gloves. Did not expect that, did not expect that whatsoever. We just need a print stream to complete the dream. And then this might be like the ultimate opening, <laughs> really. I am very, very happy with those gloves. Should I give them away in the comments? I feel like I should. Despite that obviously destroying my profit margin and making this an unprofitable case opening for me, I feel like one of you guys deserve them. So let's make a little like goal, let's say 10,000 likes on the video, and then you guys hopefully can, oh there's the AK again, post your encrypted trade links down below in the comments, and I'll randomly pick one of you in a week's time when these gloves are tradable, and I'll send them out to you, very, very final recoil case, big smile on my face after this opening, because I don't think it could have gone any better than it did, so let's go, very fine, it's going to be a monkey, uh, it's not, it's going to be the winterized, we have one more key, so I think I'll buy one more case. Actual final case this time, right? No more. I know sometimes I have a bit of a problem, but this is it. This is where I draw the line. Very final case. Probably going to be a blue. Yes, it is. Another winter ice. Well, this is what we got out of 51 cases. Mainly blues. A very sick AK, which we instant sold for good reason. And then... Sports Glove Knot, of which I will be giving away in the comments to you guys if we hit the 10k likes. What do you guys think of this new case? Are you disappointed there's no new glove patterns? I was a little disappointed when I found that out. Do you like the print stream? Do you like the chromatic aberration? Is this just a cheap imitation fever dream? Are you a fan of the AK that I quick sold? Because this is uh, it's looking pretty expensive actually right now. What's your favorite skin from the case? Let me know all of this and more down below in the comments. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.